Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. The greatest tragedy of the family is the unlived lives of the parents. I am not what happened to me. I am what I chose to become. Loneliness does not come from having no people about one, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to oneself, or from holding certain views which others find inadmissible. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then, you are just doing research. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol, morphine, or idealism. People will do anything, no matter how absurd, to avoid facing their own souls. Thinking is difficult. That's why most people judge. Shame is a soul-eating emotion. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. The healthy man does not torture others. Generally, it is the tortured who turn into torturers. Midlife is the time to let go of an overdominant ego and to contemplate the deeper significance of human existence. We are born at a given moment, in a given place, and like vintage years of wine, we have the qualities of the year and of the season in which we are born. When an inner situation is not made conscious, it appears outside as fate. Children are educated by what the grown-up is, and not by his talk. Man cannot stand a meaningless life. Where your fear is, there is your task. Man needs difficulties. They are necessary for health. Don't hold on to someone who's leaving. Otherwise, you won't meet the one who's coming. The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. What did you do as a child? that made the hours pass like minutes. Herein lies the key to your earthly pursuits. The greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved, but only outgrown. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people. Depression is like a woman in black. If she turns up, don't shoo her away. Invite her in. Offer her a seat. Treat her like a guest. And listen to what she wants to say. Knowledge rests not upon truth alone, but upon error also. Every human life contains a potential. If that potential is not fulfilled, then that life was wasted. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. If a man knows more than others, he becomes lonely. As any change must begin somewhere, it is the single individual who will undergo it and carry it through. The change must begin with one individual. It might be any one of us. 
Nobody can afford to look around and to wait for somebody else to do what he is loath to do himself.